Savitri, a legend and a symbol by Sri Aurobindo. The Book of Beginnings Canto 4 The Secret Knowledge Along a path of eons serpentine, in the coiled blackness of an ancient course, the earth goddess spoils across the sands of time. A being is in her, whom she hopes to know. A word speaks to her heart, she cannot hear. A fate compels, whose form she cannot see. In her unconscious orbit through the void, out of her mindless depths she strives to rise, a perilous life again, a struggling joy. A thought that can conceive, but hardly knows. Arises slowly in her and creates the idea, the speech that labels more than it lights. A trembling gladness that is less than bliss. Invades from all this beauty that must die. Alarmed by the sorrow, dragging at her feet, And conscious of the high things not yet won, ever she nurses in her sleepless breast an inward urge that takes from her rest and peace. 
ignorant and weary and invincible. She seeks through the soul's war and quivering pain. The pure perfection her marred nature needs. A breath of Godhead on her stone and mire. A faith she craves that can survive defeat. The sweetness of a love that knows not death. The radiance of a truth forever sure. A light grows in her. She assumes a voice Her state she learns to read, and the act she has done. But the one needed truth eludes her grasp. Herself and all of which she is the sign. An inarticulate whisper drives her steps. Of which she feels the force, but not the sense. A few Rare intimations come as guides. Immense divining flashes cleave her brain. And sometimes in her hours of dream and muse, The truth that she has missed looks out on her as if far off and yet within her soul. A change comes near that flees from her surmise. And ever postponed, compels attempt and hope. Yet seems too great for mortal hope to dare. A vision meets her of supernal powers. That draw her as if mighty kinsmen lost. Approaching with estranged great luminous gaze. Then is she moved to all that she is not. And stretches arms to what was never hers.
outstretching arms to the unconscious void. Passionate, she prays to invisible forms of gods. Soliciting from dumb fate and toiling time. What most she needs, what most exceeds her scope. A mind unvisited by illusions gleams. A will expressive of soul's deity. A strength not forced to stumble by its speed. A joy that drags not sorrow as its shade. For these she yearns and feels them destined hers. Heaven's privilege she claims as her own right. Just is her claim, the all-witnessing gods approve. Clear in a greater light than reason owns. Our intuitions are its title deeds. Our souls accept what our blind thoughts refuse. Earth's winged chimeras are truth's steeds in heaven. The impossible God's sign of things to be. But few can look beyond the present state. Or overleap this matted hedge of sense. All that transpires on earth and all beyond are parts of an illimitable plan. The one keeps in his heart and knows alone. Our outward happenings have their seed within. And even this random fate that imitates chance This mass of unintelligible results are the dumb graph of truths that work unseen. The laws of the unknown create the known.
the events that shape the appearance of our lives. are a cipher of subliminal quiverings, which rarely we surprise or vaguely feel. are an outcome of suppressed realities, that hardly rise into material day. They are born from the spirit sun of hidden powers, digging a tunnel through emergency. But who shall pierce into the cryptic gulf? And learn what deep necessity of the soul determine casual deed and consequence? Absorbed in a routine of daily acts? Our eyes are fixed on an external scene. We hear the crash of the wheels of circumstance. and wonder at the hidden cause of things. Yet a foreseeing knowledge might be ours, if we could take our spirit stand within, if we could hear the muffled demon voice, too seldom is the shadow of what must come cast in an instant on the secret sins which feels the shock of the invisible, and seldom in the few who answer give the mighty process of the cosmic will communicates its image to our sight identifying the world's mind with ours our range is fixed within the crowded arc of what we observe and touch and thought can guess.
and rarely dawns the light of the unknown. Waking in us, the prophet and the seer. The outward and the immediate are our field. The dead past is our background and support. Mind keeps the soul prisoner. We are slaves to our acts. We cannot free our gaze to reach wisdom's sun. Inheritor of the brief animal mind, Man, still a child in nature's mighty hands, in the succession of the moments lives. To a changing present is his narrow right. His memory stares back at a phantom past. The future flees before him as he moves. He sees imagined garments not a face. Armed with a limited precarious strength, he saves his fruits of work from adverse chance. A struggling ignorance is his wisdom's mate. He waits to see the consequence of his acts. He waits to weigh the certitude of his thoughts. He knows not what he shall achieve or when. He knows not whether at last he shall survive. Or end like the mastodon and the sloth. and perish from the earth where he was king. He is ignorant of the meaning of his life. He is ignorant of his high and splendid fate. Only the immortals on their deathless heights dwelling beyond the walls of time and space
masters of living, free from the bonds of thought. who are overseers of fate and chance and will, and experts of the theorem of world need, can see the idea, the might that change Time's course come maned with light from undiscovered worlds. Here, while the world toils on with its deep blind heart. the galloping hooves of the unforeseen event bearing the superhuman rider near and impassive to earth's din and startled cry Return to the silence of the hills of God. As lightning leaps, as thunder sweeps, they pass and leave their mark on the trampled breast of life. Above the world, the world creators stand, in the phenomenon see its mystic source. These heed not the deceiving outward plea. They turn not to the moment's busy tramp. But listen with the still patience of the unborn. For the slow footsteps of far destiny approaching through huge distances of time unmarked by the eye that sees effect and cause unheard mid the clamour of the human plain. Attentive to an unseen truth they seize, a sound as of invisible auger wings. Voices of an unplumbed significance. Mutterings that brood in the core of matter's sleep. In the heart's profound audition they can catch
the murmurs lost by life's uncaring ear. A prophet's speech in thought's omniscient trance. Above the illusion of the hopes that pass, behind the appearance and the overt act. Behind this clockwork chance and vague surmise, amid the wrestle of force, the trampling feet, across the cries of anguish and of joy. Across the triumph, fighting and despair. They watch the bliss for which Earth's heart has cried. On the long road which cannot see its end. Winding undetected through the skeptic days, and to meet it, guide the unheedful moving world. Thus will the mask to transcendent. Mount his throne when darkness deepens, strangling the earth's breast, and man's corporeal mind is the only lamp. As a thief's in the night shall be the covert tread. Of one who steps unseen into his house. A voice ill heard shall speak. The soul obey. A power into mind's inner chamber steal. A charm and sweetness open life's closed doors. and beauty conquer the resisting world. The truth light capture nature by surprise. A stealth of God compel the heart to bliss. and earth grow unexpectedly divine. In matter shall be lit the spirit's glow. In body and body 
kindled the sacred birth. Night shall awake to the anthem of the stars. The days become a happy pilgrim march. Our will, a force of the eternal's power, and caught the rays of a spiritual sun. A few shall see what none yet understands. God shall grow up while the wise men talk and sleep. For man shall not know the coming till its hour. And believe shall be not till the work is done.